Hello students, today I am going to teach the topic cloud management. So let's proceed with the concept cloud management. The cloud management consists of management of different options available in a cloud based scenario. So as a priority basis, first we understood what is a intercloud. Cloud computing is a technology that has been around for quite some time and has been a welcomed technology. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, that is a NIST, defines cloud computing as a model for enabling ubiquitous convenient on demand network access to shared pool of configurable computing resources example networks servers storage applications and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction nowadays there is an increased demand for cloud computing as a number of cloud user increases it is a challenge to cater to the requirements of all the users in order to maintain the credibility of the cloud providers cloud providers do not offer an infinite amount of resources and hence may get saturated at a some point in a time in some cases situations may arise where the cloud provider might not be able to satisfy the requirements of the customers in such cases where the cloud provider is faced with an unexpected increase in requirements or need it has to resort to some method to ensure consumer satisfaction it is in a such situation that inter cloud comes as a boon to the cloud provider so inter cloud can be basically viewed as cloud of clouds hence multiple cloud providers join hands to serve the customers inter cloud can take any of the two forms that is federation of clouds or multi cloud the concept of inter cloud was introduced way back in 2010 in the first ieee international workshop on a cloud computing interoperability and services that is inter cloud 2010 in october 2013 an environment that would serve as a test bed for inter cloud related applications was proposed then the major cloud providers are amazon google microsoft ibm etc then for this different cloud service provider it is challenge to them to complete with different inter cloud aspects federation of a cloud is an advantage to the minor cloud providers as they can provide their resources for rent and so attain profit for their resources which would otherwise be left underutilized a basic qualification of a inter cloud consist of different 
service providers in terms of federation and multi cloud so these are the different types or classification under the enter cloud in a federation of a clouds the cloud provider manage the interconnections among different service providers as infrastructure may be shared so as to enable resource sharing then the user need not bother about using more than one cloud as the cloud provider takes up responsibility of providing transparent service to the customers hence in the inter cloud one cloud provider can rent the resources of another cloud providers and offer it to the customers as there is a, another category of inter cloud that is a multi cloud in a multi cloud the client of service makes use of multiple clouds so the user is aware of the fact that they are being served by more than one cloud provider then it is a responsibility of a users to provide interoperability between various cloud providers as inter cloud provides different benefits to the customer in terms of diverse geographical locations better application resilience avoidance of vendor lock in flexibility and power saving as this enter cloud brings along with it a new set of challenges that have to be resolved the internet is a network of networks coming with standard for internet so that the various networks can cooperate with each other took a period of about 5 years in a similar manner various issues have been tackled before enter clouds can be used the various cloud providers should have some mechanism to establish trust among themselves other issues include service level agreement that is the sla requirements and billing rates some cloud providers may have authentication mechanism in order to offer their resources so in a simple term the cloud providers should match with each other in terms of resources policies technologies etc with this various existing technologies then enter cloud is a cloud access operator that acts as a gateway to a variety of software as a service platforms among enter cloud patterns the examples are different cloud service provider like an microsoft azure and amazon web services which provides access to any outsource application platform in a secure manner so this is all about enter cloud concept now under this how we can do the cloud management so cloud based it resources need to be set up configured maintained and monitored the system covered and this mechanism that encompass and enable these types of management task like an remote administration system resource management system sla management system and billing management system let's have look on this different management aspects of a cloud as a cloud computing gains wide acceptance among users there is a need for management of cloud so as to ensure the proper functioning of the cloud services the cloud management is responsible for managing 
the infrastructure of the cloud. It is the solution to problem of realizing the expected economic benefits by employing proper capabilities of the management. Now, from that, remote administration system is one kind of way under the cloud management. So, a remote administration system can establish a portal for access to administration and management features of various underlying system including resource management service level agreement management and billing management system as we can see in this picture at the end there is a cloud consumer and cloud consumer can use this facility as a remote administration system with the help of that he can do resource management system sla management system and also monitor billing management system the best example for this remote administration system is if you subscribe for different cloud service providers whether you subscribe for the google cloud service provider that is the gcp or whether you subscribe for the amazon or microsoft azure as whenever you log in in their portal they will provide a special dashboard for their user or a client who subscribe their services with this there is one special system icon that is called as a billing in various cloud service provider their names are different under that billing you can properly check utilization of your cloud services whether you are going to use how many services for how much duration then you also can control that billing in such a manner that if your use has been finished you can end that services or stop that services also as per any cloud service provider promising to their customer that they are providing 24 by 7 availability and in such a case you can experience that thing personally as a cloud consumer you can see that whatever stored file on a cloud you can access properly or not is there any kind of disturbance so you can complete against this about the sla that is service level agreement with this whatever the resources you require that is for the developing the application deployment of the application or you need to embed any resource services for your application as well as any kind of storage services which is required for your application accordingly you can manage that resource management within your dashboard within your control panel so these are the remote management or remote administration system are provided under the cloud manager to the every customer and with the help of that they can control over the resource management sla management and billing management consoles with this this is a resource management system it is one example that here every cloud service provider providing different computing services under that we assume that this is a any virtual machine image repository as resource management services you as a consumer you can create number of virtual machines for different operating systems whether it's an microsoft windows 2010 windows 12 or to server where in this resource management system you can create various virtual machines for different operating systems like for microsoft windows 2010 microsoft windows 2012 r2 server or centos or ubuntu or any kind of other open source operating system so all this came from vm image repository 
and that you can control that you can manage as a resource management system which is provided or option under the cloud management so this is about resource management system which is a part of cloud management in this resource management system what things comes or what functionality will cover in this it managing the virtual it resource templates that are used to create pre built instance such as virtual server images which is already exist ex already presented in your cloud service providers also allocating and releasing virtual it resources into a available physical infrastructure in response to starting pausing resuming and termination of virtual it resources instances that option is also available with this coordinating it resources in relation to the involvement of other mechanism such as resource replication load balancer and failure system so you can properly utilize the different services offered by that cloud service provider with this enforcing usage and security policies throughout the life cycle of the cloud service instances and with the help of this monitoring operational conditions of all it resources which are a part of your cloud service provider so these are the various functions functionalities associated with resource management system as a point comes on a sla management system service level agreement so the term cloud management is the name given to the collection of software and technologies that is used to govern and monitor the various cloud applications cloud management ensures that the cloud services are running optimally and that it interact with its applications the cloud management software may need to handle heterogeneous resources it has to monitor various tasks such as a resource allocation the strategies for cloud management include regular monitoring and auditing services the initiating and managing plans for the disaster recovery also with a part of the cloud management as the questions come about the sla management system that is service level agreement so the sla management system mechanism represent a range of commercially available cloud management products that provide features pertaining to the administration collection storage reporting and run time notification of sla data as if you subscribe for any cloud services or any cloud service provider everywhere you will get it this sla agreement so it is nothing but a quality of service measurement repository so where you found that is there any problems while any services using within a cloud platform so you can claim under the sla management services this sla management system deployment will generally include a repository used to store and retrieve collected sla data based on predefined matrix and reporting parameters then sla will further rely on one or more sla monitor mechanism to collect the sla data that can be made available in a non near that is near real time to usage and administration portals to provide ongoing pdf regarding acting cloud services so this is about sla management in the cloud management then also billing management system is one of the important part of this cloud management this is one of the 
facilities provided in the cloud services by every cloud service provider cloud management usually provides a portal for customer it provides user authentication encryption and budget management on behalf of various enterprises there are various cloud management interfaces available such as the enstratus enterprise cloud management solution which provide the provisioning management and automation of application in major private and public cloud one of the cloud management reference architecture introduced by the distributed management task force that is a dmtf as the functionality point of view there are different functional components of this distributed management task force the components include cloud service developer cloud service consumer then cloud service provider with this data artifacts provider interface profiles let's talk about this component which is called as a functional component for cloud management in terms of cloud service developer it covers designs implements and maintain service templates in terms of cloud service consumer it provides access to services for service users then the cloud service provider this component supplies cloud services to internal or external consumers then data artifacts is one of the functional components which controls and status elements exchange across the provider interface with this there is a provider interface that interface allows consumer to access and monitor the contracted services provider that is a uh, one of the important issues in this cloud service management with the help of that there is a one functional component that is called as a profiles specification that defines the association methods and properties for the management domain so cloud management interface should take special care of a security also if an attacker gains access to the cloud management interface the after effects can be drastic so as a billing management system point of view as we discuss the billing management system mechanism is dedicated to the collection and processing of usage data as it certains to cloud provider accounting and cloud consumer billing the billing management system relies on pay per use monitor to gather run time usage data that is stored in a repository that the system components then draw from the billing reporting and invoicing purpose so here you can see this is a pay per use so you can say that as we discussed previously also every cloud service provider runs on a platform that pay as you go the simple concept is that whatever services used by the customer for that particular duration accordingly whatever the charges they need to pay as per their usage so whatever the charges they are going to utilize definitely they can view all these charges in their billing option and even in that option they can properly monitor each and every services each and every resources billing properly means from which date to which date you have used that services what is the total duration what is the cost apply for that one it may happens that if there is a new developers that time they forget to stop any kind of services cloud based services so it is going to charge a more bill that time you can properly control this thing from your dashboard so this is a billing management system which is a part of the cloud 
management. Thank you.